Hello guys, Zuljin here and welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved. Thank y'all so much for the love on the last episode, guys. As always, if you enjoy the videos, don't forget to give me some dap on that like button and show your support for the series. You can also subscribe to the channel for more. I've been doing Ark daily and I plan to keep on for just a little while now. So, I really am enjoying the game. I think it's time to start exploring some underwater stuff. I really, really, really want to check out... Um, some of the things that the the higher end recipes like the I think it's called the assault rifle and I'm pretty sure I need silica pearls and from what I know silica pearls they they are like way deep in the ocean like incredibly deep in the ocean on the ocean floor or it says it spawns only at the very deepest parts um, so I've been leveling up my oxygen a little bit um, if you look at my, I'm sorry, it's so bright too, it's on Gamma 4 right now, but um, I have enough oxygen, 240 oxygen, which lasts quite a little while, um, and I'm starting to experiment a little bit with how long it takes for my oxygen to run out. Also, I know there's something called Lazarus Soup that I can use to get a much, much longer oxygen time so I'm considering that to go get some pearls but also what I'm looking at over here as you can see is I want to mess around with a shark so I do have a bow loaded up with some trank arrows but I can't shoot a bow underwater unfortunately what needs to happen is the shark needs to come to me and I need to get to a point to where I can shoot him from the beach so it looks as though this will be sort of dangerous due to the due to the distance he is away from the shore what I think I'm going to do is make my way around here and see if I can get him. And let's turn this gamma down to a reasonable level here. Uh, we should probably go three. There we go. That's going to be a little bit better. So let's see if we can lure this big boy out. Now, I know a couple of the other tribe members have some sharks and they said that uh, they're really good. But there was some problems with um, sprinting. Uh, upward and downward <laughs> like you can sp you could sprint forward and and stuff but you can't you couldn't go you couldn't go up through the water fast or down through the water fast and they were dying for a little while um so i didn't want to mess with any of that but now it seems that a lot of that stuff is hammered out so i do want to try it pretty bad uh so let's see here where exactly i have sassy on the shore in case things get pretty bad she's right over there um, but it shouldn't be too bad. Let's see here. So there's the shark. I need to get to a point to where he sees me. He or she. I don't know. I don't mean to be like sexist about the sharks. Hello. <whistles> here, sharky, sharky. Do you see me? Okay, my oxygen seems to be holding up pretty good. Ah, oh, he does see me now. Okay. It's time to get on the shore. Uh, and he's starting to go back. Did he just see me or did he like lose interest because I was going too close to the shore? Let's see. Come on, big boy. Come on. <laughs> we are going to tame you. We are going to tame you. Oh, come on. Come on. You know you want to come over here. I need to get... There we go. All right. Where are you? Okay, so can I just trank you from here? How is that going to work? <laughs> is it even... Is it working? I don't think so. I think the water is stopping it. You know, I've never seen an arrow do that with the water before. Hmm. I know that punching it can't be it. I could melee it with the bow. That's possible too. Let's try to get closer and see. All right. Oxygen seems to be good. What level is this guy, by the way? All right. You ready? Bow me lead to the face. Am I even hitting it? Level four. I should be able to. Oh, and there is an arrow. Is he... Is he unconscious? No. Is he beach, though? He does have an arrow in him. I wonder how this is going to work. Well, we'll keep trying. Stamina is pretty good right now. Oh. <laughs> he hits pretty hard. Uh-oh. All right. 
I need to get a little bit of health here. Come on. All right. I do have a few blood bags I can use, too. And that's going to help instead of eating constantly. Where did he go? Ah, uh, there he is. Is there two of them? Oh, no. That was his tail. All right. Fair enough. Um, man. I really want this guy. Let's see. I wonder if... I can't see if the arrow is going to go or not. Okay. <laughs> Man, this is turning out to be really, really hard. And it's like I can't see under the water. Come on, big guy. I don't even know what this guy's torpor is. Ouch. <laughs> well, I guess I'm going to keep messing around with him until... Come on. Come on. How about now? Aha. I got his tail out now. Oh, did I just break my bow? Really? Come on. <laughs> this is the worst, most unorthodox tame ever. I need wood and fiber now. Good lord. Well, I guess I'm going to have to get some wood and fiber to tame him up. Shoot. Whoo, I got him. I finally got him. Okay. So there's a couple things I could do to try to keep him safe. Because I'm going to need to get my Spino over here. It looks like somebody had made a platform. I guess that was for short taming. <laughs> I didn't even realize that. Okay. And it's cold right here. So I'm definitely going to have to get out the water. Uh, let's see. How do I mark my... Uh, how do I make a landmark? I guess right here is okay. Let's go get Sassy. And what I'll do, the weather's really, really bad, too. Um, I'm not talking about in-game. I'm actually talking about out-of-game. So I hope I don't lose any of this footage. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab Sassy, and I'm also going to bring over um, my Spiny because the Spiny can swim and do all sorts of good things. So let's see here. There's a bunch of prime meat on Sassy if she still has it. Nope, she sure doesn't. Um, but we're going to give... The shark a bunch of meat to start gnawing on and hopefully the tame isn't going to take too long i'm also going to go out i think and get some uh primal meat uh to make the tame a little bit faster i should be able to do that so it was right around this branch i think was the landmark that should be good and let's see here sassy give me some meat um all right there's plenty of meat right here and right there that should be good and in actuality, what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to split up this cheaty meat that I have. And I should be able to... Wait, let's see here. Just like this. And I should just be able to increase the timer on all of them just like that. Bam. All right, good. <laughs> so I got, I got a good timer on that and I got 20 meat to put on the Megalodon. Okay. Let's go look at the Megalodon. Put the meat on him. He's so hard to see right here. I don't even know what color he is right now, but uh, let's see. Access inventory, and I'll put the meat on him. There we go. So he's going to eat up the meat. Uh, his taming bar is going to go up pretty quick due to the accelerated meat timers that we have right now. So that's good. What I need to do is go get uh, Phineas to protect him and stuff. So I'm going to go back to the uh, the base guys, grab some more supplies, grab some primal meat, and I'll be our bees. There we go, you guys. <laughs> Megalodon tamed. I don't even know what to name him. Is it a guy or a gal? Hmm. Megalodon level four. But does it say access inventory 
It does. What the heck? Why can I not tell it's sex? Equip. Following Zuljin. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, you know what? I know what we're going to name it. Jabba Joe. Oh, here I am suffocating. <laughs> All right. Get some O2. All right. Um, access inventory. I can't believe it doesn't have a sex on it. I can't tell. Megalodon, level 4, Orma 0, that's all it says about it. Stats are pretty good, though. I tamed it with, like, 90 effectiveness, which is pretty good. Okay, let's rename it. Change name, Jabberjaw. <laughs> I had to, from Josie and the Pussycats. Okay, so, now that we have our Megalodon, it's time to get a saddle. I need to make sure that... Let's see... I should just probably set him... I don't want to bring him too far in because they can get beached really, really easy. So let's go ahead and disable follow. All right. Now it's time to get... It's time to get us a good old saddle for it. Now, I know that these things are really expensive. Like, um, let's see. I brought Panther Lily out here, by the way, because Sassy's just a little bit too slow and she just dropped a deuce. Okay. Let's get Phineas following us. Follow... And what we'll do is we'll go back to base and see if we can get a um, some the saddle online. All right, you guys. So I just so happen to have a pretty good saddle for Megalodon, the blueprint for it. Uh, it requires 406 hide, 217 fiber, and 42 cementing paste. Cementing paste is the hard stuff because cementing paste has to be made in a mortar and pestle. And it has to be made from either chitin or keratin, um, and that's four piece, and also stone. So stone is going by pretty quick, and I do have a little bit of cementing paste saved up already, but not nearly enough. So what I need to do is go gather some more stone. I'm pretty sure the last mining ep expedition we went on, I got a little bit on my anklo. So let's check it out. Um, pebbles, do you have stone on you? No, you do not. Um, do I have stone in my place? I might have to go mine a little bit of stone. I know I have some more chitin if need be. I do not have any more stone. I do have 11 cementing paste though, which is good. And, uh, I know I have enough hide. Let's see how much I'm going to need altogether here. Let's go in the mortar and pestle. Access inventory. Cementing paste. I have 23 altogether. And what was the requirements for that? Was it 40? Please tell me it wasn't 40. <laughs> it was 42. Holy cow. All right. I'm going to do some more forming, you guys. I'll be back. All right, you guys. I've been gathering my booty off but i finally got enough resources to do it we'll add the last bit of this cementing paste and we'll make the megalodon saddle this is gonna be really 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 good let's see i have four five four one experience six five four one six five nine two so about 50 xp for that saddle which is really really good now let's go install it <laughs> oh Army's, uh, Army's little dinosaur running around. So let's see. Uh, we might as well take Panther Lily out there. There we go. Come on, girl. Let's go meet Jabberjaw. Should be a little ways up the beach. There we go. There she is. Make sure Panther Lily's not following. And let's go put a saddle on Jabberjaw. And we'll be able to mess around and drive her. <laughs> now, I've driven one of these things before. They are incredibly fast in the water. Let's go ahead and put the Megalodon saddle on. And, ooh, it looks like uh, we've got a little bit of um, level. So let's see. We could bring up health. Ooh, that was a good little boost from 720 to almost 920. That's really, really good. Um, 
How fast? Oh, wow, yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's see. We got to make sure we are full on oxygen. And we are. Let's go ahead and go down and see how far we can go down. Man, crazy. Oh, stamina is running a little low. It looks like I can let stamina build back up really fast, though. My oxygen is still holding pretty strong, so it looks like we can go pretty deep here. Um, let's sprint a little bit more. I'm so glad I could sprint downward now. Wow, it's even further than this. Oh, <laughs> rock spawning in the way. Hello. Um, I can't seem to find... I don't see anything special yet. There's a shark over there. Alright, how's our oxygen? Our oxygen is about 50% right now. We should probably go down. What are those? Are those the pearls? Uh, I do have a little bit of oxygen left. Let's try it out. Um, oh, silica pearls. Awesome. <laughs> That's great. We didn't even have to enter a cave to do that. Uh-oh. Jabberjaw. Uh-oh, let's go. No. I gotta go. I gotta go. I need oxygen. <laughs> oxygen is very, very important <laughs> at this point in my life. I'm gonna start drowning very soon. Suffocating. Ah, made it. Alright, where was that shark? Did we lose it? All right, I got to make sure Jabberjaw is set to fight back. Let's see here. So, set level to neutral. There we go. So, it starts off at passive, apparently. But, yeah, I got Silica Pearls. That is freaking fantastic. Okay, so what I need to do is... I think I need to play around with that, that uh, Lazarus recipe. I know that Ormi had gotten some uh, some stuff installed as far as the forms go. So we're going to go back to base and check that out, you guys. All right, guys. We're back at the base, and we got a few things for the Lazarus Stew. And let's see. The description is, This creamy dish improves body's natural constitution. You will recover from injury more quick quickly after eating this, and your body will need less oxygen. So it needs three servings of meat. Five savor root, five long grass, one handful of medjo berries, a half a dollop of narcotic, submerge in water, and cook in a cooking pot. So, I do have some medjo berries right here. I got enough wood to cook it. I don't need a rare mushroom. I don't need the charcoal in here. I do have some narcotic. And I think I have the three servings of meat. The only thing I'm missing is the savor root and long grass. So, let's see here. If I go out back, we do have a form. Let's see what's growing back here. Um, oh, savor root? No, this is long grass. And this is savor root. Okay, so how do you harvest this? Uh, no, I don't want to do that. Access insufficient resource to repair, destroy planted crop. No, access inventory. Oh, fertilizer. Ah, okay, so savor root is already in here. Let's go ahead and take some savor root. We only need five. That is four, six, three. <laughs> Wait. So, yeah, we'll, we'll just use six. We'll split it up like that. And now I can access this and long grass. That should be... Oh, no. Here we go. Okay, six and six. So we should have enough to do it here. Let's go ahead and go to the pot. I don't know if you have to put exact amounts, so I'm going to just put three. I'm going to put five of each because that's what it calls for. All right. Bam. Done. So we're ready to go. Now all I have to do, I think, is light fire. And hopefully that just cooks it. I don't know how many medjo berries it'll take. I suppose if it has all of this stuff in it, all the right stuff, it'll just take. I'm hoping that I have everything. Let's see. A half a dollop of narcotic. I don't know. I guess that's just one narcotic. Um, three servings of meat. Five savor root. Five long grass. A handful of medjo berries. And we'll see how long this takes. 
So after nothing was happening for a little while, I kind of decided to do some wiki research, and apparently the recipe was a little bit different than what I thought. You need nine serving nine meats which equal to three servings of meat and they have to be cooked uh also the five save root and five long grass was correct <laughs> we also needed the water and it looks like we got the lazarus chowder so this actually spoils in five minutes but the effects last 15 minutes so we should be able to use this pretty good i'll go ahead and put the meat there in there and i will put out the fire that should be good um all right so let's see what we got we have this stew that's supposed to last a real long time. Let's get out to the shark and see all what we can do. All right, time to see what this does. We'll go ahead and hit the button and it, oh, we have a countdown timer on it. Lazarus chowder enabled. So our oxygen should go down much, much, much slower here. So we'll see what we can find and how long we can stay down. Uh, looks like we've gained a level two. I think I'm going to change my movement speed. That looked pretty cool, huh? Um, so let's go F and let's do a hundred and oh, it's only 2.5 movement speed. Hmm. Maybe I'm not going to increase that too much. I think the hit points is probably one of the most important things. But because we have a saddle, I think survivability would be all right. Uh, I'm actually going to need a little bit of meat, too, because I'm pretty low. So we'll get some while we're down here. We might as well. Look how slow the oxygen meter is going. And my countdown type timer, I still have a lot. So we might as well sprint a little bit just to make this a little bit faster. I do want to get some more pearls if I can. I'd like to find some oil if I can, too. That's a resource that I've never really got the chance to see. And I've seen that, I mean, I know that the guys have been getting it because they've been fixing their armor and stuff like that, but I'd like to get a little bit of the resources for myself. Uh, let's see here. I think it's going to be easier to drive in first person here to be able to get, like, the fish. Uh, maybe. Maybe not. Oh, here we go. Short. Oh, I can sprint around. Oh, there's three? Oh my gosh, there's a ton of sharks. Okay, what's the health like? Oh, my health is still good. My health is still really good. Let's get these guys. Oh no, it's not. I was looking at the wrong health. No, get me out of here. Get me out of here. Okay, I need to get out. Oh, and my stamina is really, really low too. We should just be able to escape these guys. Let the stamina rebuild up. I didn't realize that they were whipping me so much, man. I'm going to need a remote use item on some meat, which is going to increase my healing rate. It looks like the sharks are still have a little bit of time. Let's see. F. Let's remote use some meat. There we go. And that did not that much. I did gain a level. And there's another shark there, which is bad news. Oh, man. No, I gotta get out. I can't lose my Megalodon already. Good lord. Okay. How... Okay, I'm gonna be able to escape it. That should be okay. I just need to get to a port where I'm a little bit closer to free here. All right. And where's the shark at? Okay, there's only one. Let's take it. Come on, quick. All right, we got him. I think we're in the clear. That was close. That was so close. All right, so let's see here. How can I make sure to heal? Raw meat. Let's go ahead and remote use item. Uh, I'm, okay, I'm healing pretty fast, which is good. We need to bring some more health. Man, okay, so 80 out of 100 experience. I need to level this guy up a little bit, is what it appears, it what it amounts to. Let's see. I also need to use a little bit of stuff myself. Some blood packs, maybe? All right. We're healed up now. Everything should be all right. 
<laughs> Man, <laughs> what a battle, huh? That was scary. Okay, so my health is still really, really low. Uh, it's sad because my my Lazarus stew is is like is wasting away here. Okay, maybe I can continue to use a little bit of this stuff. Remote use. 537, 544, 5. It heals about 10 at a time like this. So. Oh, he can use it pretty fast, though. So you can just force force feed him. Let's use the prime meat and see if it helps. Not really. <laughs> uh, okay, let's use some more raw meat. There we go. All right. Health is looking a little bit better now. Now that I got my oxygen back, let's go back down for some more action. I think this is oil. I've been looking around at the bottom of the sea and this one looks really, really different. Let's see, I should be able to get it with my pick. Yes, this is oil. Oh! What the heck? Jabberjaw, get him. Oh, there's another one. I'm in trouble here. Blood bags. Oh, thank you, Jabberjaw. <laughs> Jabberjaw got them for me. Okay. Let's eat all this stuff up. Jabberjaw got another level. Awesome. And where was the other one? I got to be careful of these sharks around here, man. So it looks like my health is still pretty bad. Let's use another couple of blood bags. I don't see much more oil down here. Rockwell stew or my Lazarus uh, stuff is still going pretty good. Is that? Oh, that's not a shark. Okay. <laughs> Let's check. Let's bring up health again. All right. Yeah, health is going to go much higher. Is that a dead shark from earlier? I guess. Yeah. Okay. I'm interested to find more oil, too. Oh, this is a good meat hunter, too. Like, I've been able to get so much meat just from fighting those little sharks and stuff. And it looks like I think I see a shark up there, too. I'm not seeing much more oil. Let's just go around this bend. Looks like there is some oil right there. Stamina is still good, so we got plenty of fight left in us. And this other guy is going to go down relatively easy, I'm sure. The saddle helps out a lot because of the armor and stuff. I wish there was a way that I didn't have to click so many times. <laughs> Alright, let's get this. I'm also going to use the blood bag, just in case. All right, I got a little bit of oil. Uh-oh, I'm cold now. Okay, I think it's time to call it, guys. <laughs> I think it's time to call it. Let's, let's go up top. My oxygen is starting to get a little low anyway. Um, which, I mean, based on how much I have left, it shouldn't be that bad. And let's see. It looks like it's daytime. Oxygen is refilled. And... We lived. Okay, well, cool. Well, I was able to get some rare resources. That's awesome. And uh, it looks like I'm going to be able to do some fun stuff and, and fix my armor that I, well, maybe even create some armor that I had a while back. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to hit that like button. It helps me out so much. And you can subscribe to the channel for more ARC and other stuff. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Zuljin signing off, and we'll see you next time.